Hello, today I will tell you about the best top antivirus service. After testing a huge number of programs in this category, I found the best option that worked perfectly for me. I have been working with this antivirus for a long time. This is a full featured package that has never let me down. My computer is 100% protected from viruses, ransomware and other malware. It is a very reliable and highly efficient assistant. In this short video, I will reveal to you 5 very useful secrets that few people know about, but which make it truly the best in the top antivirus category. It's about Total AV. I'll leave the link to the official website under the video. Now carefully look at the screen. Let's go. Total AV is a small security vendor offering a wide range of antivirus and other products. The company has a simple free antivirus that runs on-demand scans to detect and remove threats, but does not offer real-time protection. Total AV Antivirus Pro has a Vera-based on-demand and real-time detection, anti-phishing and a number of system optimization tools, cleaning browser traces, duplicates and junk files, managing startup programs, optimizing boot times and much more. Total AV Antivirus Pro looks cheap at $19 for a one-year license for three computers, but then upgrades to a seemingly expensive $99. Total AV Internet Security adds VPN and supports up to five devices and pushes the price up to $39 in the first year, $119 per upgrade. Total AV Total Security expands the package even further by adding an AD blocker and password manager and cost $59 in the first year, $149.99 thereafter. It doesn't seem like much value, at least after the first year of discounts. Total AV has a Vera's engine, and you can get it in Windows basic form for free. Plus, a Vera Prime gives you 5 device protection, unlimited VPN, an extremely powerful Windows optimizer and more for just $99 per year. Total AV Antivirus Pro is easy to try at least with a free 7-day trial, no payment details or even an email address required and a 30-day money-back guarantee if you need it. The Total AV console looks good with your protection status instantly displayed on its home screen and many more features accessible from the sidebar and menus, scan, quarantine, disk cleanup, startup manager settings and more. You can run Smart Scan with only one click and it checks your system for malware, junk files and several other performance issues. If you are only interested in malware, you can alternatively run a quick or full system scan or use a custom scan to check the files and folders you need. It's not just convenience. The lack of support for Total AV concurrent scanning means that if the application is performing a full system scan, you will not be able to perform on-demand checks such as scanning the USB key you just plugged into your system. This will not significantly affect your security. Total AV will still check the file when you launch or open it, but a well-designed antivirus should perform better. The service offers a VPN with a long list of VPN server locations, over 40. This compares to some of the major VPN providers on the market, making it a worthy VPN solution if you're looking for a variety of locations. I asked Total AV if their VPN service is provided by them or a third party. I was told that Total AV's VPN is their own service. The company's online knowledge base has a few more details about VPN, such as using 256-bit AES CBC encryption over the OpenVPN protocol. Besides, there is no information about VPN. Due to the lack of information and features, I would not suggest using it yet if you are looking for a serious VPN solution. It lacks features commonly found in paid VPN services such as DNS leak protection, emergency shutdown or port switching. There is also no word on the login policy, which is fundamentally important for anyone looking to use this as a secure, anonymous VPN. Total AV includes a web filtering tool that automatically configures itself to block suspicious websites and web browsing activity. The tool blocks low trust websites, crypto mining, URLs and other malicious sites. A whitelist is included for trusted websites that may cause false positives. The quarantine value is the files found and cleaned, which may be necessary for the correct operation of other programs. Needless to say, you'll have to be more precise about how you use the free version, given that you don't have a quarantine option so that you don't accidentally do some damage to certain infected programs while trying to clean them. Ultimately, the usefulness you get from the basic features of Total AV will be limited if you stick with the free version only. 
After you start scanning, the time is slightly longer than usual, although still acceptable. We haven't spent a lot of time researching the reasons, but at first glance it seems that even quick scan scans all files in the target folders, even those that are unlikely to contain a malicious payload. You can at least tweak this in the extensive Total AV setting dialog, which is much more customizable than we expected. You must figure out for yourself as the program has no help and the support pages on the site are poorly organized, not fully searchable and linked to an earlier version of the program with a different interface. I left Total AV Antivirus Pro with default settings and found no file detection issues. Malware samples on our system were detected without problems, downloads were detected and infected payloads were detected when unpacking from encrypted archives. Web filtering through the main engine didn't seem as reliable. The package claims to block crypto mining URLs, for example, but that didn't work with the examples I tried, perhaps because it is blacklisted rather than some form of real-time detection. Total AV also has a safe site browser extension that aims to block access to malicious sites. Total AV Antivirus Pro goes behind the usual basics of malware scanning with a host of advanced PC management features. For example, Junk File Finder only checks four areas of your system, the recycle bin, cached Windows updates, temporary files, and Windows error reporting files. Anyway, Total AV said it could recover 31 gigabytes of data. Duplicate File Finder is very, very simple. It only searches your custom folders like documents, music, videos, pictures, and while it finds and displays any duplicates correctly, it doesn't give you much information to help you decide what to keep. For example, you cannot see the last modified date of any documents. You need to figure out what you want from just the file name, path and size. The largely pointless application Uninstaller displays your uninstalled applications and lets you uninstall anything you don't need. There is no basic additional functionality, no recommendations on what is safe to uninstall, no forced uninstall to completely uninstall your target applications. The only advantage is that you can mark multiple applications for uninstallation, click uninstall just once, and then wait while Total AV launches the regular uninstaller programs for each one, one after the other. The launch manager lets you view and optionally disable any applications that are configured to start at Windows Startup. It did not work as expected for us as many applications were listed as unidentified publishers and its functionality is less than that of Windows 10 users in the Start Task Manager tab. The browser cleanup tool is as basic as the rest of the collection. It only supports Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer and Opera. It just looks as history and cookies. There is an interesting privacy bonus in data breach verification. Enter your email address, Total AV suggests it will tell you if it has been compromised by a data breach. However, read the fine print under the check now button and you will see that by checking your email you also agree to the Total AV license agreement and privacy policy and authorize the company to create a free account for you. Total AV Antivirus Pro is a virus engine but not as efficient, more open to malware attacks with some minor additional PC maintenance that you almost certainly don't need. If you like Avira, you better go straight. Avira Free is a great free product and while it doesn't have an introductory discount, Avira Prime gives you more options for the same $99 per year.